So this new survey says 48% of marijuana users go to work high, or they have gone to work high. And uh, we were talking a little bit about this yesterday. You got in trouble for calling potheads losers. If you're going to work high... This is the reason why I call it, because I used to work with a lot of potheads. Then you're high functioning. Then you're definitely why, not a loser, right? This is where I root my stereotypes of potheads in. One time on 420, back when it was a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal anymore, but on April 20th, I had a coworker who... At about 3.15, I was working with, and I had been working all day long. He came in at 2 o'clock. That's when his shift started. He goes, hey, man, Jeff, do you mind if I go smoke a bowl with my girlfriend uh, at 4.20 today? I'm like, yeah, you know, you're going to, yeah, sure, that's fine. You're going to be back by 5, right? Yeah, I'll be back by 5, because that's when my shift was over. My shift was over at 5 o'clock that afternoon. He came back at 7.45 that night. 7.45. Sorry, man. I got a little into 4.20. I'm like, dude, I had places I had to be. (laughs) Two hours and 45 minutes later. So, yes, pardon my stereotypes. On That's the uh, cool. loserdom of, of weed. You've been you've been uh, mentally abused by yes, stoners is what's happened. Not physically, but mentally. And it's affected your personal life. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I, that, so I, I will forever root my stereotypes about weed smokers based on that guy. It's funny, too, because, you know, uh, we were talking about it yesterday a little bit. Some weed smokers are, you know, a little bit uh, better than other weed smokers. And, you know, they can responsible, do it. Yeah. And it's not that they're just responsible, but not everybody handles the drugs the same way. And some, it actually, you know, uh, gets them more focused. And I, I, I've seen that side. I, I can see that side a little bit where it kind of draws you in, where if you're kind of scatterbrained a little bit. I mean, they're, the research on this is all kind of new and everything. But, uh, you know, they're starting to find out the, the pluses, uh, not just the negatives that uh, cannabis this is why can do for you. I say that you should smoke more weed because, if anything, you've been accused of being a bit scatterbrained at times. And uh, let's see. Let's do that. Let's conduct that study. Let's see if. No, I don't think so. I, I think I don't I don't think it affects me in that that way. I think some people it does. But in my uh, in my past and when I've done it, it makes me it makes me very calm. That's for sure. And I think it's probably great for my blood pressure. But uh, other than that, I wouldn't say that it's nonetheless it's you work keeping with me. me narrowly focused. You no. know what I mean? <laughs> You work with me. I mean, maybe that would have its benefits because you always say is, that I drive your blood pressure. Up. You do. I'm sure you do. I mean, I don't. I don't have any proof, but I'm sure you do. But the problem is, if people were just more responsible about how they used it, then this wouldn't be a problem. Yes, but we could say that about anything because right? now, and this is what sucks for weed smoker is you get this study that comes out that says 48 percent of people have gone to work high. Then all of a sudden, employers open their eyes and they're like, "Hold on a second. I know Bill over there. He smokes weed." How often is he coming to work high? Bill ends up ruining it for everybody because then companies say, well, it might be legal in the state. They take the NFL stance on it. And that is, uh, it might be legal in your state, but it's not legal in our company, so don't smoke it. 50% 50 of people uh, were afraid that they would lose their job if they found out that marijuana uh, was detected on them while they were uh, uh, at work. Yeah. So... uh, but 73% of people believe that they perform their tasks better when they're high. So they would get high even before it was legal, even though they thought they might lose their job, they still think they're more efficient at it. Is that an excuse? I know people on both ends of the spectrum. I really do. I know people like my dad and my best friend, both huge potheads, and both going in totally different directions. Kyle is one of the most successful real estate people I know, and he sells houses like none other and it's interesting to me because you know when you meet kyle that he's a pothead you could tell like you know it's not like you know he's hiding anything he's like yeah i smoke weed whatever that's my thing and he's still able to sell the crap out of houses whereas my dad is like you know (laughs) getting him to leave (laughs) a half mile radius away from his house (laughs) is like pulling teeth he just doesn't want to do anything. Yeah, he just wants to stay and smoke weed. It's just, it's so strange to me. But yesterday you upset a lady uh, who, uh, you upset a lot of stoners or potheads as you called it because you said the uh, pot was for losers 
and a lot of people got fired up, and uh, this guy Hot. Smithers but got really upset. Anti pothead Ernie did he, say, yeah, he did say uh, that you know, uh, anti pothead Ernie. Yeah, he said is that uh, his nickname. He told me not to give in. That pot smokers are losers. <laughs> losers, and he spelled it L O O. I was pretty sure you were joking, but then I gave you, I, I brought it back up so you could you know clear the air, and then you were like, no, I'm not going to apologize. But I think I did a good job clearing the air because I think there there are losers in every uh, every lot of life. I mean, if you are relegated to a couch uh, playing video games, eating Doritos, and you make it that is your goal in life is to get high all the time. You're a loser at smoking weed. You're a loser in life. Okay? But I'm not saying all people that smoke weed do that, but there are loser potheads. That's what I was right. trying to il illustrate. I may have made a reference to a stereotype that a lot of people don't like, and we have successful pothead Linda on the phone right now. Good morning, Linda. Oh, so I'm already referred to as a pothead. Uh, successful pothead, though. Successful. Okay. Does that well, make you feel you ever, better? Uh, have you ever consumed alcohol? Yeah, all the time. Then by definition, you are actually an alcoholic if you were to look it up in the dictionary. But I'm not a loser <laughs> alcoholic. He's like, a successful alcoholic. I, 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 I'm <laughs> a successful alcoholic. <laughs> Let me sign that turn for you, Linda. Right. So, so just like you, you're a successful pothead. I'm a successful alcoholic. Uh, that's just the way it. We're it, successful at what we do. It breaks down. <laughs> Why are uh, this is this is what I don't get, Linda? Why do people who smoke weed? Why are they so on the defensive? Like yesterday, I mentioned that, or uh, earlier, I mentioned that, and. You were like, "Hey, listen, you know, I'm not a pothead, uh, you know, all that stuff." It's like, it's like immediately you're on the attack. Didn't you say you had a family member who was an alcoholic who sat at home and played video games all day? Yeah, I did have a brother who's an alcoholic and played around, played video games. So As I was like, "Well, if we're going to go by definition on that case, then I guess anyone who drinks is no." Is a loser as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's just if you can control your substance, then it's, why, that doesn't make you a loser. But why? Let's see. Um, yeah. You you said that you bet half the people who are higher oh, up and make more money than I Habe. I, I guess you meant to say have. Uh, have or, uh, or, or 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 do smoke? Uh, hey, even one of our presidents smoked. Um, you, you're automatically on the attack. You're like attacking my my income. Well, uh, you called all you pot were smokers attacking losers. me by saying yeah. that I was a loser pothead. But I'm not. Categorizes all in the beginning. I actually I refer to you now in the world of textum uh, at the eight oh five. Now you eight, have acknowledged eight, but the fact that successful, there are successful potheads. Yes. But in the beginning, to be fair to Linda, you didn't. You just yeah. said potheads yeah. are losers. I said pot will always be for losers and always has been for yeah. losers. So that yeah. means everybody who smokes pot is a loser yes. is what you were saying. And I was I was doing And it, you were wrong. And I was doing to tell a joke. I would think if anybody has a sense of humor People are tired of that stereotype, Jeff. That joke isn't funny anymore. I would think if anybody has it's, a sense it's of humor, the, it's, it's people water prohibition. Back it's, then, when people weren't allowed to drink, if you drink, if you drink alcohol on the side and stuff, you were considered a loser. This is what I hate about alcohol potheads now. This is what I hate about potheads in sober 2018. potheads. By the way, potheads in 2018 are taking life too serious. No, back when I used to hang out with potheads Listen. in the early 2000s, people did not take themselves serious, and they're like, "Yeah, whatever. I'm sitting on the couch and I play video." Let me games. ask Linda a question: Are you high right now? No, I'm actually at work. Yeah, see, well, my point is, if you were high, you wouldn't be argumentative, because potheads don't argue. They're just like, whatever, man. Oh, no, I would totally still argue if you called me a loser over being a pothead and I was high. Even if you were high? Because I swear, oh, high, yeah, high people don't, high. they're so non-confrontational. I've oh, never I met mean, a... it really a, just depends on personality. Well, let's do a study. Let's get high and see if Jeff is an ass. No, I'll be. <laughs> no, and I'll tell you why I don't smoke weed. Let's get you high and see if, I you, be an if ass. you're a different I person. I will be on my lips. Okay, I will be sleeping on my. No, lips. you won't. It puts me out. It, it puts me to sleep. I, I, I've. Tested Not if you the, have the right strain. Listen, I've you've never had a sativa. Probably a dozen times in my life. You need a life. sativa in your life. Okay, I don't need experienced potheads now explaining to me what the difference is. is, is I would actually be I, an inexperienced I, pothead. Well, whatever. I just know a little because uh, I read it. I read about it. Uh huh. Sure, I read about it. Is there still a drug testing? Uh, uh, there's no drug testing at this company, is there? You're no. fine. Come on, say it, man. Come on, uh, say what? How do you know so much if you, if you don't? If you because I I know a guy that has a company and I've talked to him about I it know on my. A guy. On, okay, so I do another show on the on uh, another radio station in the building. It's called the Liquid Lunch, 
It's uh, it's uh, normally we drink wine and beer and spirits, but now that cannabis has become in, we've brought in people that legislate for cannabis. We brought in cultivators. We brought in people that own companies mm-hmm. that actually buy marijuana and package it, it yeah. for sales. Yeah. And they, they, you know. So, anyways, so I've learned a lot about it. Okay. And one of the things is uh, uh, you bring in people who smoke it as so well. So now I there imagine, you go, right? there you go. Now you got the full explanation. Okay. Of how I've been educated a little I, bit about it. Whenever I do and I know it, you were very uneducated about it. I've done. I've tried it about a dozen times in my. My life every time i i'm known as one hit because wonder you've been drunk i'm known as the one i've been hit with wonder. you and you've been drunk and when you're drunk and you smoke it's weed true. and in if it's school, not like a sativa it and indica, you can practice, go right to sleep when i did it before basketball practice it was comical okay i went in and i i tried to shoot the ball and it was like one of those things where it came up three feet short of the rim and i realized okay maybe my body is not ha- not uh, able to handle uh, marijuana. Well, some people some can't people... drink alcohol. They get right. drunk very fast. Exactly. Some people can't smoke weed. Mm-hmm. I, would you agree with that, Linda? It affects everybody differently. I would 100% agree. In fact, yeah. with alcohol, if you have Native American blood, your um, enzymes don't break down the sugars in the alcohol yeah. easy. Oh, so. we've heard, yeah, I've heard that about that in the news. Yeah, yeah you and get I have drunk a friend faster, who, same who with actually people proves who that theory blood. on a regular basis. He proves that theory every Friday and Saturday Does night. Does that mean he can drink more? Or he, no. He, he, should, <laughs> he should not be drinking no, more. He, he tries. <laughs> he tries. But he should not be. And okay. I, would con- I would consider him a loser, Because, too. yeah, there's some people that actually smoke marijuana, and they can smoke a lot of it. And it's not even about their yeah. tolerance. It's just it actually gives them better focus. Yeah. And, and they're actually that. better at things. But there's other people, like you, that I, are worthless. I am worthless. If I were to smoke <laughs> weed, I would be one of those losers that I, you are defending, Linda, this morning. I would be on a couch playing video games somewhere, probably on a PlayStation 2, not even a new gaming system, uh, right. in my mom's basement. But I, I, See, I'm not then saying, that shows that that's not for you. Just right. like if you were to get some kind of a over-the-counter and, prescription at the doctor's, and let's say it affects you in a certain way, it might make you just as sluggish or lazy as if you were to smoke marijuana. But because a doctor prescribed it, now it's okay in the public's true. eye. That's the one reason why potheads, I think, get defensive, is because now that it's a new thing, we have a stigma that we're all trying to break through right now. And, it's and just you're hard. seizing the moment as, the, as, as legalization comes about. I believe all potheads see this as the opportunity to say, hey, this is our chance not to be stereotyped as potheads anymore. Yeah, this is this is our time to show that anyone can I gotcha. sit there and partake in weed. Like, hey, you listen, got you old gotta, ladies, you have doctors, you got kids. As I with mean, anything in life, you got to recognize your opportunity and go for broke in it, okay? But there's still going to yeah. be people out there that I'm going to classify as loser potheads. And the main reason why they are they are losers is because <laughs> they're they, lazy. they have let marijuana take over their lives. Just See, like they're just alcoholics. losers in general. Right, you let anything take over your life, you're alcohol, just a loser. Uh, uh, but uh, alcohol is, opioid, is a disease. They, you know, we know that. We, the alcoholism is a disease. Addiction is a disease. Is well, it, see, can, I think any addiction. kind of addiction is truly a disease yeah. because you can get an addiction to anything. Video games, you can sex. be addicted to reading, yeah. sex. It doesn't matter. So, therefore, it really isn't a disease. It's just an addictive personality. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been nice talking to you, uh, Linda. Linda, yeah, and the successful Honestly, partner. if you guys look up uh, in history... Washington actually had hemp fills, and on the back of the old ten dollar bills were hemp fills in the background. I, I would, I would roll with that. I mean, hell, you're president, yeah. and you're living in the nicest piece of property, and there's really no rules at that time. So, hell, let's go for broke. Yeah, our, I, our I would founding do the same fathers thing. are actually uh, hemp farmers, yeah. which I thought was pretty cool. Are hemp you... is one of the most reusable resources that actually grows a lot faster than trees. It's right, used for strong clothing, paper, everything. Mm-hmm. Strong. Are we, are we still mad at Jeff, Linda, or are we good? <sighs> I don't know. I think Jeff started off on the wrong foot well you know i trust <laughs> me i've been doing this with him for 20 years some days i come in here i'm in the best mood and then in five minutes i'm in the worst mood of my life but i'm yeah, I, it's, it's never my wording. intention to make anybody mad okay <laughs> you love making people no, mad my intention is to illustrate okay like listen i if i refer to potheads being lazy it's because they're potheads you are not a pothead linda you're at a job right now you're talking to us on the phone you just called her a successful yeah, pothead yeah because that's gonna be forever my nickname for her because she got a little razzled okay she got a little <laughs> she got a little frayed around the edges I knew I could get underneath her skin. But seriously, I know that Linda is not one of those potheads that I speak of because she's at a job doing productive things, providing for her family or help providing for her family right now as we speak. Yep. All right. I'm about to 
Have a great weekend. Yeah, have a good day. Yeah, Enjoy sorry, your weekend. Sorry, all that good we're stuff. Hold, we're holding you up. Yeah. Yes, have your, a great one. Production. <laughs> all right, Remember, see you later. we're not all losers. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know you're not all losers. Bye, my, Linda. My dad is. <laughs> your dad's not a loser. Yeah. He, he held a job. He's got a home. He held a job, but I mean, it was while. Is he retired now? Yeah. Now he embraces retirement, believe me, because it allows <laughs> him to blaze. Good morning. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ.